Moving and rotating objects in SketchUp are two of the most common commands, but so tedious to master. How can we make this fun? In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to quickly place, scoot, spin, snap, and align objects precisely where you want them by solving 3D puzzles. Watch me put them together while explaining best practices. Then click the link in the description to download the file and give it a try yourself. How fast can you solve them? Let's see. Let's check out our move rotate puzzles. We'll do just a little bit more of that here. And so what we've got going on is that each of these different pieces here, uh, they're, they're all moved, they're all kind of spread apart, you know, mixed up like a puzzle. And so I left the puzzle intact here and copied them and then kind of spread them out so that now you can, you know, rotate them around and put it back together. If you ever need to identify like where is a piece well, I can tell you that the color pieces, first off, these guys are left in place. So those don't need to move. And, in, and that's across the board. So these guys, they're, they're locked in, or they're, they're set in place. You don't need to move the colored pieces. And if you wanna know like, you know, which piece goes where, you can kind of test it. You can say like, well, where's this piece? And if I double click in, see how I can, I can tell it's a component. So it's like, it, it gives me a, a visual cue that this is the piece I'm looking for that goes in this top right corner. And I can kind of get an idea of, of the orientation. All right, so I'm gonna rotate this by 90 and then I'm going to move it back into place. And it looks like, um, you know, it sits kind of like that. This guy, uh, you know, and, and really a good cue on these is like whenever you have um, red and gray, that you know that's going to really call out where you need to be. All right, so again, you can test it. Like, you know, where is this? And this is if I go to View Component Edit and uncheck Hide Rest of Model, that might be a little more helpful for this scenario. And you may or may not have that checked on. The View Component Edit Hide Rest of Model. And that way I can see the rest of the model and, and just call out this piece and see where it sits, all right? So I can tell this one, I should probably rotate by 180 and then I'm gonna move it so that it fits right in there, all right? And then like this one, I can kind of tell uh, that one should probably fit like that. So I rotated it by 90. Uh, this guy here, I think that looks pretty obvious. That's the bottom left corner. We'll rotate by 90 and put that into place. And so I think, again, you wanna you know, be very precise with your snapping. And let's see, we have um, a red corner. So I can just tap R. Um, let's see, there it goes, R. And then rotate by 90 like that. I suppose it helps if you're the person who made the puzzle <laughs> when I'm solving it, but uh, I, I hope I'm giving you some good tips, you know, like how to track down these pieces. Uh, I didn't want to make it too hard. I just want to force you to like, you know, solve a problem, use these tools all together and get some practice navigating, orbiting, uh, panning, rotating, using the tools. All right, what else we got? So then this guy, um, it's got to do that, right? So move it into place uh, with the move tool. And actually, you know, this is a good thing to call out too. The move tool has a rotation function to it. Uh, so when you have the move tool active and you just kind of mouse over and get that auto select like this, you get these little, um, these grips. So that can be helpful to do simple rotations. But the problem with that is that you know, in the last exercise, it wouldn't have worked because you can't do like a, an align type of rotation. But for this puzzle, it's not all bad. Um, you know, certainly you could use it like this. And I have to check my measurements dialog box and see that it's like close to 90 like that. And then I can use, you know, move again. And this guy falls right into place. All right, so that puzzle is solved. I'll go back over here. Now this one, this one gets to be more difficult, right? Because it's not so clear, you know, exactly, you know, the rotation. So what you got to do is like find the piece, all right? So it's going to be like kind of the top left corner. And you, know, you can see that it's, uh, 
yeah. So we're going to rotate it. Um, you, you know, I, I guess I would tend to rotate it a little bit and kind of find, you know, where it's supposed to be, like roughly. And it looks like it goes there. Um, sorry, no, it goes like this. And then I'm going to use my rotate tool. And I need to do a, like, precise alignment where, you know, my center point of rotation has to be here on the blue axis. And then I need to snap it here. All right, so there's one. Now, this one has gray and red. And so it looks like, you know, you can see where it is there, kind of up against this one. Nothing, these pieces will never need to be mirrored. So that, that helps. They just need to be rotated and moved. All right, so once they're kind of roughly in place, I can rotate it, set up my alignment like that. All right, next, uh, this piece, see it up there? So we just need to kind of rotate the thing around. So remember that rotate tool has uh, those three clicks. Uh, you set your, your center point of rotation, you set your uh, reference angle, and then you set, I guess the final angle is maybe what that would be called. So let me move this into place, activate my rotate tool, and then snap that into place like that. All right, I can start to see just how this puzzle is coming together. I see the red and the gray, and I can see where they're they're kind of close to going like this. And maybe I'll just use this point. That's going to be kind of handy. And I'll tap R for rotate. And then my reference angle is here. And snap it. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, goofed up. This is my reference angle. Snap it there. All right, so just um, we're getting real close. This looks like, you know, this one, it would probably be easy just to kind of spin it around like that and then set it in place, set my rotate about this corner, reference angle here to align, and snap it to that point. All right, the last one we'll do is this guy, like, I'll use this point, just to keep it uh, a little bit clear what's going on. Reference angle, and snap it into place. Not bad. All right, now this last one, we're starting to get into 3D, right? So it's gonna get a little bit more challenging, but I can tell you that these pieces, uh, they've only been rotated by 90 degrees. Uh, so, you know, I didn't set them at a weird angle and that makes a really challenging puzzle. I took a look at that. But for this one, just remember the two color pieces, they don't need to be moved. Those are, those are already in place. And so what I need to do now is just kind of sort out, you know, so let's, let's rotate some things around in 3D. Um, mm -hmm. You know, where am I going to start? Like, you got to start somewhere, so start chipping away. Where's this piece? All right, so there it is. All right, so let's go with um, this guy is going to need to rotate. And see, now we're going to have to do some different rotations. Um, and this is, I mean, these are not easy puzzles. I got to shoot you straight on that. Um, so we're going to go like that. Um, let's see, we've got a red red piece over here and so i think that i need to rotate this whole i just undid that and so we'll rotate this whole thing like uh, like this i'm going to say 270 and then i'm going to rotate it like this and call it 90 like that i think that's where it's at all right so let's just use the move tool and get this positioned in, snapping it from endpoint to endpoint. And that worked, okay? See how the gray lines up, the red lines up, and the red lines up? We're in good shape. All right, now what goes below that? So I'll use my select tool, double click in, and this one goes below. And this one I think is gonna be pretty clear. Um, we can rotate it um, like, should go like, maybe 90 this way and then 90 this way and then we'll position this guy like that perfect all right let's check these pieces okay so this corner is already here and you can see i kind of left them roughly you know where they need to be so i didn't want to make it like impossible to do this so we're going to rotate like 90 and i, I snap to that and then we're gonna do another 
90 degree rotation. Notice at that time, I just kind of like threw, you know, I, I very quickly just rotated it and then I go back and I type 90. All right, and let's see. Uh, and then I'm gonna move this into place like this. And sometimes you gotta like orbit around to get it to snap where you want it to. All right, that one worked out. And um, what's next? So then this piece, let's get, I think I can see, yeah, this piece is gonna work out. So we'll rotate um, like this maybe, 90. Um, 270, and then I'm gonna rotate it like that, and that's gonna be 180. All right, and let's position this in the in there. Perfect. Yeah. So the cues are these, you know, the different colored pieces are helping out. They they help with the orientation a lot, right? All right. So now on this one, we'll rotate by 90, and then I'm gonna rotate by 90, like that. And then I'll move it into place like that. Wow, we're getting close. We got one more. Um, I'm gonna turn my shadows, uh, let's go to view and turn off the shadows. I'll probably fix this file so that you don't see those shadows the way you did, but um, get rid of those so that we can really see what we're working on. So just go to view and turn off the shadows, but um, Let's rotate this around like that and call it 90. And then I'll tap the up arrow key, rotate this again by 90, and then use my move tool, doing a precise move to put that back in place. Okay, now I'm telling you that this puzzle has nothing to do with architecture, but if you can solve these puzzles quickly, this is just gonna make your life so much easier because you're gonna have like mastered this skill of precise moves, precise rotation, working in 3D. So these puzzles are really valuable, really you know, practice doing these. Uh, that'll make you fast. These puzzles are part of a challenging SketchUp obstacle course that I created to make learning SketchUp fun. If you wanna finally master SketchUp, or even if you're just getting started, head over to sketchupworkflow.com to take our course made specifically for architects and interior designer. The entire first section, which includes the obstacle course, is free. Or perhaps you'd like to hear my thoughts on SketchUp 2022. This is the most honest review you will find. I'll see you in there.